today we will study how to make a histogram with equal class interval now in a question we are given the distance and the frequencies and the distance is in kilometer and class limits are given 1 to 8 9 to 16 17 to 24 25 to 32 and 33 to 40 but for histogram we need class boundaries not the class limits so in order to make the class boundaries what we will do we will subtract the upper class limit from the second class interval from the lower class limit of the first interval and we divide that value by 2 and we will subtract that from the uh, from the upper class limits values and we add them into the lower class limits uh, values in order to get the class boundaries and for that you can also watch my previous video that how to make class boundaries so we have constructed the class boundaries 0.5 to 8.5, 8.5 to 16.5, 16.5 to 24.5, 24 24.5 to 32.5 and 32.5 to 40.5. Now you can see the class interval between the class boundaries is 8. If we subtract 8.5 from 0.5 we get 8 if we subtract 16.5 from 8.5 we get 8 and so on so the class interval is same now how we will construct the histogram we will make x-axis and y-axis along the x-axis we will take the class boundaries values like 0 0.5 8.5 16.5 24.5 32.5 and 40.5 from the table and along the y-axis we take the frequency that is given in the question so now what we will do we will see that the first class boundary is from 0.5 to 8.5 and its frequency is 15 so we will draw this rectangle now the second class boundary is from 8.5 to 16.5 and its frequency is 12 so this rectangle is drawn covering the class boundary 8.5 to 16.5 then 7 then 4 and then 2 now the representation of the histogram is these rectangular bars in which along the x-axis we have the class boundaries and along the y-axis we have the frequency hope you have understood how to construct the histogram now how to make a histogram with unequal class interval now in the question the class limits are given to us 10 to 11 12 to 14 15 to 19 20 to 29 and 30 to 34 and their frequencies are also given 4 12 25 60 and 25 now we have to make make the class boundaries we will follow the uh, same uh, steps and we construct the class boundaries 9.5 to 11.5 11.5 .5 to 14.5 14.5 .5 to 19.5 and up till 34.5 now you can see the class interval size if we subtract 11.5 from 9.5 we get 2 if we subtract 14.5 from 11.5 we get 3 then 5 then 10 and 5 and then 5 now the class interval size of the class boundary is different now how we will make the histogram for that we have the adjusted frequency table in the adjusted frequency table we will divide the frequency with the class interval size now for the first we have the frequency 4 whereas its class interval size is 2 so its adjusted frequency is 2 for the second class boundary we have the frequency 12 its adjusted frequency is by dividing it with the class interval that is 3 we get 4 then 25 by 5 is 5 60 by 10 is 6 and 25 by 5 is 5 now what we will do we will plot along the x-axis the class boundaries whereas along the y-axis instead of plotting the frequency we will plot the adjusted frequency values and we will make the rectangular bars in the similar way we have drawn in the previous uh, histogram with equal interval 
in the same way we will draw them but instead of having the frequency we have the adjusted frequency for this histogram hope you have understood the whole concept of uh, making the histogram with equal inter class interval and with unequal class interval where adjusted frequency phenomena is used thank you